Brill Cream. An election campaign rally in support of SLPP presidential candidate Gotabe Rajbaksha was held in Batikla yesterday. <laughs> This government took the TNA's support whenever they wanted over the past four and a half years, but they neglected the TNA's requirements. The situation in the eastern province is much different than the northern province. This will be the last chance the people in the eastern province have to revive their lives. Not even God himself will be able to save the people of the east if they vote for Sajit in the upcoming presidential election. They must vote for the flower bud and make Gotabi Rajapaksa the president if they want better living standards. <laughs> To the many farmers in the area, I say that we have presented a plan to develop your economy. Place your faith in me. I understand that a distorted image of myself is painted to you by my opposition, but I promise to commit to my duty of giving you a secure and developed nation. The TNA leaders protected this government by providing their support whenever required. All of us are working together now. We hope to upgrade the area under the Kalmunia Divisional Secretariat. In addition, we hope to issue deeds to land owned by farmers here because they only have permits. in the meantime, another election campaign rally of the SLPP presidential hopeful was worked off in Rwanda today. <laughs> They are currently struggling to give 1,000 rupees as the daily wage for estate workers, but continue to promise an increase of daily wages of 1,500 rupees. I told them to give at least the Deepavali advance to estate workers before promising these increased daily wages. That sum, which is three to 5,000 rupees, is deducted from the wage, but the Treasury doesn't even have the funds to pay that, so they just keep on lying. I served in the army for 20 years and then as secretary for 10 years. So I have clear knowledge on how the state sector works. During the previous government, the state officials were able to make decisions freely and suitable officials were appointed to relevant positions. We were also able to reduce political influence in their work and in return develop the country. But today the state sector has collapsed because state officials are afraid to make decisions after being taken to the FCID and harassed. This country cannot be developed without the state sector. State officials should be protected by introducing new laws so that they can make necessary decisions for the country. We will also increase their salaries and address their needs. Maxis, number one time in Sri Lanka.